When I first took up the cause of the prisoners in our country and studied the conditions within the walls, I was appalled by the hopelessness, hardness and bitterness that existed in their hearts toward the outside world. I grew up in a pretty broken home. My mother was a codependent, my father was an alcoholic. There was verbal and mental abuse. I struggled as a child and it really affected my adult life. I used alcohol and drugs to cover up and mask that area of my life. And it worked very well for a while until my alcoholism escalated and I started getting into legal trouble. I didn't have much respect for myself at all, no self-worth or anything. I was incarcerated in 2007. That was my first time being incarcerated. I came out of there and went right back to drinking and ended up getting another DWI. And I ended up going back to jail for six months. I told myself this time I was ready to change. That I didn't want that lifestyle anymore. So I got out of jail and I participated with Step by Step with Volunteers of America. Women that are incarcerated, about to be incarcerated, or post incarceration, their commitment to being home with their families is really, they're, they're driven by that. And how we have been able to help is to provide tools again for empowerment, building self esteem, helping them to make better choices personally and for their families. They have helped me so much, and volunteering for Volunteers of America at their store has too. They gave me my dignity back. Ten years ago, I was um, deep into my addiction. Um, I was a cocaine addict, and I had been for the last 17 years. I've lost everything. I lost my children, I lost my family support, um, I lost my ability to function as a human being. The moment that I arrived at Volunteers of America, uh, they uh, were welcoming immediately. My needs were met immediately. I'm currently a part-time student at a junior college. My first class was last night, my first speech class. And after the class was over, I uh, just kind of had this really clarifying, grateful moment. The stars were in the sky. I was walking out of these big college doors. And I just took a look back and I was just like, wow. I had, I had walked the street and was homeless, and I used to see the cars go to and fro, and I wondered, um, they must be going to work, or um, I desired to be that. I just didn't have the tools. So I'm really grateful to Volunteers of America. Yes, I'm a completely different person, and my kids get a mother today. I'm very, very involved in the program because I, I, I believe. I believe in the evidence of my own life. You know, I believe in miracles. Like many veterans, James's transition back into civilian life wasn't easy. For James, tough circumstances and bad decisions led him to a prison sentence and what seemed like a lifetime of remorse. Today, James is back, paying it forward to others fighting their own personal demons. My employment here inspired and gave people that are still incarcerated hope. It demonstrated what VOA is. I was dead. I was void inside. And the way I looked, you would have thought the same thing. You know, there wasn't no dignity here. I couldn't have smiled. I couldn't even talk. Counselors here, they bent over backwards. You know, to try to show you the way on this journey of life, man. They bent over backwards, and I know they did. I know they did for me. They gave me a new perspective. They gave me some hope. They saved my life. They really did. They gave me some courage. They lifted me up. I appreciate everything they've done for me. When you have served your time, I will nurse you back to health. I will get you work. Above all, I will trust you. I will help you over the rough places, but mind you, I will not carry you.